Well, Sir Lane Saxby is the Conservative MP for North Devon and joins us live this morning. Um, morning, Sir Lane. Are you surprised by these figures? I suppose I should ask, first of all, that suggesting North Devon's seen the number of holiday lets rise by a third in three years? No, I'm not surprised at all. I think um, listening to Emma and Charlotte at the end of that piece, uh, it's been clear for a while. I've met with Emma on a number of occasions and this situation has got progressively worse as we've emerged from the pandemic. And we really are at a point now where we need to take some urgent action to redress our housing market so that we do have accommodation for local residents as well as good quality tourism accommodation for our visitors. I know this is something that you've campaigned about since you you came into Parliament. Uh, what is the, the impact that you've seen on local young people, young people in particular, I suppose, who are trying to buy or, or rent a home? I think we see our young people um, move away from the area when they're unable to secure accommodation um, and for different types of jobs on occasion. Whilst we have huge vacancies up with us, um, people are struggling to be able to afford to by there. We're also finding we have um, companies with quite high skilled vacancies where people can't move into the area um, and we're hearing from our public services, so from the hospital, from fire, from police and from schools, they're struggling to recruit because people can't move in um, and we also know that we've got children commuting long ways back to their school where they've lost their accommodation and the council have been unable to find them accommodation nearby and so we have children travelling long distances morning and evening to get to primary school even. So, so clearly an impact on business as well, um, who can't get the staff because people can't afford to live locally, particularly at a time when the cost of living generally is, is shooting up in, in other ways. Indeed. And I think as a rural community, we recognise that the, the cost of living uh, do go up quite quickly because of our reliance on our cars and on transport. So that it's a very, very complicated picture, which is why I am delighted that the government has at last brought forward this um, sort of call for evidence which we've been waiting for for some time which is an opportunity to really get to grips with the market because whilst the figures the BBC are reporting this morning are, are shocking they are only those properties that are registered for business rates and we do know that we have a number of properties that pay council tax instead and therefore it's not a complete picture so there are actually far more short-term lets than the numbers that are reported today. I suppose we should turn this round and we should look at it from the perspective of those who let out their properties. Um, it's a free society. Isn't it up to individuals to decide what they want to do with their home if they own it? It, it is indeed up to them to do what they want to do. I think it's about a balance is how I talk about it, that we've our whole market, we've always welcomed short term um, holiday lets and people to come and stay in our community. We are so reliant on our tourism economy and mm. um, it's just got slightly out of kilter. And I think as we head into the winter, we see obviously a lot of the properties aren't occupied during the winter and a lot of our local businesses will struggle to stay open if we don't have enough local residents as well as staff in the summer. So I think we are going to start to see a, a sort of a almost a change. I know so many of the tourism and hospitality businesses are struggling for staff and have reduced their offering as a result. So they're not offering food every night of the week or they're not offering a full roast on a Sunday. There's just in, those sort of subtle changes are going on, which will long term impact the tourism offering. And so part of this consultation is also about ensuring that we continue to be an outstanding destination for guests. And I think anyone that's renting out to guests, you know, would want them to have a great time when they come to us as well. This is not a new problem. It's something we've talked about in Devon for years and years, and not just in North Devon, but in the, in the South Coast as well, in parts of Dartmoor too. But it, it does seem to be becoming more acute at the moment. And as we heard from Charlotte just now, particularly in North Devon, where this is one of the hotspots in the country in terms of affordable housing. Why is it getting worse now, Selene? I think a lot of it happened during the pandemic that we saw this change in behaviour. Obviously, people couldn't go on foreign holidays. People travelled to places they hadn't been before in the UK. I think a lot of people came to us and did recognise it's a stunning place to live. So we then saw a surge in people buying second properties with us, some of which are then used for holiday lets part of the year and sometimes um, by other people. Uh, so uh, it's a very complex picture. And I think that is the challenge with the housing market is that you tinker with one bit and a different bit sort of goes wrong we also mm. then had of none of the short none of the evictions happened for two years through the pandemic which meant we then had a spike in th those evictions and obviously a lot of people didn't sell properties they were planning on selling so there's been a whole sort of change in that market and i think we as a community need to also think what do we want do we want to be a, a you know a, a massive butlins or would we like to become a, a come back to being a community in which case if we are selling properties we need to 
we have choices as well when we sell our properties. Do we want local families to be buying them and buying into them? But also we didn't build. So during the two years of the pandemic, the rate of building up with us was very slow as well. And that is only now just starting to pick back up again. As people start to go back to foreign holidays, which, I mean, it sounds bizarre that we're sitting in Devon, one of the country's leading tourist destinations, and saying, all good, people might start going abroad again, because <laughs> we don't normally say this. But, but actually, will that inevitably help a little bit, because it will reduce the demand for domestic tourism and actually help achieve that balance you're talking about? It may well do slightly, but obviously we've had a significant drop in our international visitors over the last couple of years as well. And so once we start going back abroad, more people start coming over here. And we have Mm. seen a change in the dynamic of people's holidaying where they might take several short trips rather than one long trip. Or as they might come to us for two weeks last year, they'll still come to us for a long weekend. So I think we do need to see what's going on. And that's why I'd really urge people to fill in um, this call for evidence today because it is an opportunity to make sure views are heard and data is gathered. So we just start to get a true picture of what's going on. And so as a community, we can work with the councils to really understand what is the best solution to enable people to live and work in North Devon, but also support our tourism economy and offer a really great um, service and hospitality offering. The government's launched this review this morning into the effects of, of short-term holiday lets on, on, on local communities. Will you hope to be involved in that? Will you hope to be invited to be part of the panel? Oh, I, I very much hope I will be involved. I was with the Minister last night discussing this launch ahead of time and I will make sure it's on my Twitter as soon as I get off this call so people know where to find it. It'll be on my Facebook later on today as well. Fabulous. I'll let you go and tweet. Uh, Selene, good to speak to you. Thank you very much. Selene Saxby, the Conservative MP for North Devon. It's 